face the case. And Doug, I want to personally thank you for your service to our country and the sacrifice that you made. And, uh, you know, you exemplify that, uh, you know, when you get called on, you got to do it, you go do it. It happens to both uh, Doug and I, uh, I guess, we're in the first division at the same time. And I did a number of evacuations. It's possible. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, but anyway, uh, one of the uh, trying times, or some of the trying times for some of us that the flew assault helicopters was those times we were diverted and somebody was down and go get them. And we did. And uh, sometimes it was pretty tough. But I'm so glad that Doug was one of those that did get uh, rescued, if you will, and was able to continue on with his life. A few major adjustments to say the least. But the spirit of the man remains good. And as Lovely Wife Tay is uh, another example, she she managed to lobby me a little bit now and then. <laughs> <laughs> and she does a good job. And I'm always, always glad to see her. And, uh, so all of you welcome, Mr. Mayor, thank you for coming. Thank you for your support of uh, veterans in this great community and, uh, and the honor that, that you give your presence and, uh, and also your appreciation. So today we're going to uh, present this Purple Heart to, uh, to Doug. He's got his friends here. We're going to just get to it in just a moment now. But as you see, the two of his uh, veteran friends are here to support and work with us on this. But let me tell you just a little bit about it, and I'm going to ask uh, if one of you with this escort pay to come up and stand with Doug, and maybe you'd like to do that right now. So. What you need to do, like I did with Doug, I say right turn, left turn, and <laughs> you know, the military way, so okay. let's give them a hand. Thanks. 